Hi everybody, it's Ms. Carden here. I'm gonna do a fun foil figure activity that the fourth graders did um, last year. So if you're in fifth grade, you've done this before, you're probably an expert, but this can be something that you choose to do. For this activity, your foil figures, you need aluminum foil and just some cardboard and some hot glue or tape to um, glue your figures, tape your figures or glue your figures onto a base. Um, you get started with a piece of foil that's about 12 inches long. I'm not even measuring it, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, but that's about 12 inches long. And then I'm going to fold that piece of foil in half. And I'm going to make a line. I'm going to do a dotted line so you see where to cut. I'm going to make a dotted line up here like this for the head. And then this is the part that I'm going to use to cut for the legs. So after you make your lines, you're going to use your scissors to cut on the fold. Up to here, that's about halfway, that's going to be the legs. And then here, I'm cutting a quarter from the fold. And this is gonna be the head and the arms. So it's gonna be hard to see at first, but the key to this part is just to be gradually scrunching the foil together. You can almost see the form starting to take shape, right? So you see that this is kind of starting. You'll notice I'm not crunching it all at once. I'm just doing it a little bit at a time. The proportions might not be exactly right, but that's okay. We're just gonna have fun with this. I'm just gonna scrunch it a little bit at a time. And I can keep squeezing it tighter and tighter. Why oh, I already like this person it's kind of reminding me of someone who's dancing like this. So you can kind of let your figure kind of come to life in front of you. That's pretty fun. And I'm just kind of gonna squeeze it. Maybe this head's not looking right to me. I can just kind of play around with it until I get it the way I want it. And then you're gonna use your um, cardboard to either tape or glue it on here. You can decorate your base. I have someone here doing down dog. I did some people doing dancing. So it's really fun to kind of just play with your figure and then decide what you'd like it to do. You could even make a tower of people if you feel like you've really got this and you're good at it. Um, if something happens like the figure starts to split like this, just rip a piece of foil and don't throw away your whole figure. You can wrap it around to just reinforce that if it looks like it's weak. Just take another piece of foil and try to wrap it around. So just don't give up on this and don't scrunch it up too fast. Those are my tips and I can't wait to see what you make.